There isn't any trust. I don't trust you in that matter. To say this, you five just got here on the board. Karen knows. Mr. Davis knows. Okay, sir, at this time, you just made a verbal attack on all I didn't council make no attack. I said you didn't and know. You have no trust did not in say us you didn't know. In, I didn't in the attack council you. members here, and I'm I not going to let you, you discredit I did not, I did the not council attack members you. here. That I did not attack us. you. I, I was making By a saying point. you do not trust any of us in this process. But that's my right. I have freedom of no speech. To but don't I have freedom of speech? I can say it. In the it may not of be this, true. I said that attacks on any person or person I may result not in the individual you. I just said without I didn't notice trust you. forfeiting the remainder of no. his or her allotted time. <laughs> anyone here from the public wishing to speak in favor of uh, bill substitute bill 22-13 I don't see anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor of, res of this resolution is there anyone wishing to speak against if you could just please state your name and address for the record Reverend Henry L. Davis, Sr., 215 North Sheridan, South Bend, Indiana, 46619. First question is, isn't this a law now? The board, the, 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 this, this matter that we're talking about, it's not a resolution. It's been voted as a law, right? Am I right, Karen? It was passed. Is it a law? It's a yes or no answer. It's, it's a law now. The, there is an ordinance establishing the CRB. Um, this uh, resolution fills out the process by which the uh, director and the board members are appointed. But it's a law. It's not a resolution. The ordinance establishes the CRB board. The resolution establishes how those people are selected or hired. I'm not talking about this. I'm saying you cannot add a resolution to a law. That's where I'm getting at. The resolution can fill in any spaces that the ordinance leaves open. As but, long as it is not inconsistent with the ordinance, it can be passed. Okay, within that law, it, it talks about no law enforcement, past, present, or, future, or past, or present can be in that if that's the case of what you're saying, then Mr. Reynolds and Ms. Jones was done a disservice. If you can have your president, which is a past police officer, Mr. Warner works for the county, he's their attorney. You have done those two a disservice because of their, Mr. Reynolds' connection with the police department. You have to stay in tune. I don't understand what you mean by doing anyone a disservice. You got, Mr. Reynolds was let go because of his uh, affiliation with the police department in Indianapolis. Mr. Reynolds resigned, and at the time he was hired, he was not a sworn police officer. No, he was let go because he was once a police officer. Let's be real now. We no, can play Mr. a word Reynolds game. Is we can play a I word know. game, but I'm not here for a word game. I'm here for clarification. Because well, if we allow, if you allow this is thing, that he was he if, resigned. Pardon me. The clarification is he resigned. He was forced. He was made to resign because of the fact that he was a past police officer. I don't believe that's accurate. Well, you, you can play a word game. Well, but well, sir, the so attorney you. has um, answered your question. No, he hasn't answered my question. Um, and at this point, no, um, do you I, have I'm, any I'm, other I, questions I got three right points. Now? I got okay. three points. And you do, you, are, you do have five minutes. Yeah, so you're using my time. 
Yes, and you are limited. What I'm saying, we're going back the same direction because it seems like with all of this going on, it's trying to be destroyed. You're not moving forth with the blessings of the community. Everything I heard from Mr. Warner's mouth is after the fact. Why can't we sit down in the beginning and make the decisions as he and the mayor makes the decisions, as the president of this council make a decision? You come to us with what you want us to have. We are a part, I'm th no, I'm not directing this to you, this is to the council. Why is it that we can't sit down at day one, along with you all, to make a selection? That's what needs to happen. There's no trust. There isn't any trust. I don't trust you in that matter. To say this, you five just got here on the board. Karen knows. Mr. Davis knows. Okay, sir, at this time, you just made a verbal attack on all I of didn't make council no attack. I said you didn't know. You have no trust did not say in us, you did know. I in, didn't in the attack council you. Members here, and I'm I not going to let attack you, you discredit I did not, I the did not council attack members you. here that I are seated before us. I did not attack you. I, I was making a point. By saying you do not trust any of us in this process. But that's my right. I have freedom of no speech. Process to begin but don't with. I have freedom of speech? I can say it. In the it beginning may not of be this, true. I said that attacks on any person or person I may result in an individual I said without I didn't notice trust you. forfeiting the remainder of no. his or her allotted time. But I said, and you have I called said. out Mr. Warner's name more than once, affiliating him with a police officer. He is I not just a made a statement. I told the truth. I'm I said, the truth I told too. That, too. that wasn't an attack. And I said he time, works for him. How is that an attack? How is that an attack when I say where he works at? For five minutes and your time is up. You took most of it. Thank you for your comments. This is not right. Is there anyone else wishing to speak against the bill that's a uh, resolution before us? And please state your name and address for the record, and you do have five minutes. Thank you. Good evening. Mary Bundy, 318 South Francis Street, South Bend, Indiana, 46617. I'm not really up here for or against, but I, I would like to um, just reiterate the optics of this uh, position and who's eligible to be applying for the position. So it is a, a process of reviewing police conduct. And I think that allowing former police officers um, the ability to be a part of that could be a conflict of interest. I'm not saying it is, I'm saying it could be. And so the optics of that would undermine public trust. That is the only portion of this that um, I think maybe should be looked at by the council. And that's a small portion. It would leave open for a lot of um, talented people to uh, partake in the process, but not be from former law enforcement. And that's all, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your comments. Hey Rocky, do you support the First Amendment? <laughs> 